So if you allow, I choose the verse of Vilapa Kusumanjali. It's a, a verse. Um, maybe it wouldn't have been chosen in a free will uh, so often. So that's why, especially, I took it. It's the verse 100. Hanata Gokula. So, Raghunadas is addressing Krishna. <clears throat> o Lord, O nectar moon of Gokula, O you who are melting with compassion, O you whose lotus-like face smiles sweetly and satisfied. Wherever you go to enjoy loving pastimes with your beloved, please take me there so that I can affectionately serve there. So I wanted to give light of two aspects or two levels to understand this verse, actually. So first, O oh Lord, O oh nectar moon of Gokula, O oh you who are melting with compassion, O you whose lotus-like face smiles sweetly and satisfied. Wherever you go to enjoy loving pastimes with your beloved, please take me there so that I can affectionately serve you there. So we may understand this first in the way like it is written there and many devotees would understand from different backgrounds. And then there may be also some Aishwarya inside. And we will see Krishna as the moon of Gokula and that he is melting with compassion towards his devotees and that he is smiling very sweet and self-satisfied. We know all these aspects, I mean, the background here the devotees have. But does Raghunadas, who is Rati Manjari is seeing that in this way? Definitely no. Rati Manjari, the name is already broken. Rati. He is the aspect of Radharani and her Rati knows only one goal. So in the same way, Rati Manjari knows only one few, and this is the few in connection with Rata's Seva. So, O oh Lord, why could she say, Lord? She is definitely not in Aishwari above. So please, if you want to share something, feel free. Especially Guru Dave, if you want to correct me or 
say something. I'm just a beginner. I have no idea of this topic, so please correct me. So why she could say, Lord? Maybe because he is the Lord of the heart of Swamini. He is dear to Raghunath or dear to Rati Mandri because Swamini's Lord of the heart is here. And she is telling O Nectar Moon of Gokula, when is this Mohan, this Krishna, the Nectar Moon of Gokula? In which moment? When he is rising out of the ocean of Mahabhav, then he is shining like a full moon, then he is melting with compassion and smiling sweetly and he is satisfied, otherwise not. So in this text, Anandadas Babaji is giving very nice hints when the face of Mohan is smiling sweetly and is satisfied. So we will hear that later, but we can imagine what situation that is in the Lila. And there's also in the Lila one point when he is melting with compassion after the love sport with Swamini, when Swamini took over the leading rule, and she is very erschöpft, is that one? Exhausted. Fatigue. Fatigue. Exhausted. Then she is putting her face on the Jest of Krishna or Mohan. And in this moment, he is full of compassion with her and is seeing her beauty in this situation. He is very much connected with her feelings and they are silent, lying there on the bed. So this is the moment of compassion from Krishna towards Radha. So we can see that this verse is not, not even a whiff of Aishwarya inside. Although people may understand it on their level of uh, understanding, consciousness. So the nectar moon of Gokula is rising out of the nectar ocean of Mahabhav. So Gurudev, maybe you want to share something on them. No, no, go on. Very good you are explaining. <coughs> Very nice. Go on. So, again, we can see that Rati Mantra is always completely in erotic 
past times, her feeling and thinking is actually serving these pastimes of Radha and Muham. The Kinkaris are actually also often taking Aishwarya expressions to make good jokes, actually. <laughs> Jayananda, you also like these jokes, right? Jayananda Maharaj. <laughs> They are taking these prayers in Aishwarya and make very good jokes out of it because they always have different kind of meanings on different levels. <clears throat> There's one nice story when Krishna is uh, coming as a brahmachari. What's the name? Uh, Vishva, Vishva, Ka, Vishva, no, Vishva Shyama, Vishva Shyama, and he's <coughs> coming, and the elders are also there. So he is actually saying to Radharani, "You may accept me because I will never touch any women. So you may accept me as your priest." And I will go through this worship of the Sun God, I will help you. And in this text, maybe somebody knows this text and want to share on this. And uh, he's telling like, you will accept me as your uh, leading, how do you say, um, priest for this. But actually, the meaning of the same words is something completely different in Rasa. So in this way, actually, they are always making very nice jokes. And they are in this jolly mood, in this mood which is mixed of humor, and uh, erotic love. So in this way, they only wish to serve this kind of Uchvala Rasa, in this kind of Uchvala Rasa. Because this is actually the gift Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving us. So it's not that he just offered us the key of the door of the flat or the house of Radha and Mohan, he was actually handing us the key to the most confidential room in this house. And giving us the entrance, although in this Kali Yuga, We know that the most fallen persons actually are still here. We did not make it back, although so many yugas passed. We are still here, still here entangled. No way out, because The subtlest element is the false ego. So we always think that we are intelligent, we are the body, we are whatever. This is the most subtle element. We can hear this in Bhagavad Gita, Bhumiya Apuna Lova Yu Kamanu Bhutta Evacha Ahankara Itiya Me Bina Prakriti Ashtadha. The eight elements, material elements. They are going from Bhumiya, from Earth, up and get more subtle. Bhumiya is the most cross element and Ahankara is the finest element. And always the finer element is in the more cross element. 
So we can see that even in the intelligence there is ahankara. That means if we want to get out through intelligence, what chance do we have? It's a question to you, what chance do we have? Exactly, no chance. That's why we need a guidance. We need a person who is seeing our position, who understands where we are, who is merciful to us, who has the qualities of our Karuna Mai, And who in this age has these qualities? And when such a soul like Guru Dev is seeing our position, the big ego in the even bigger house hmm. or in the even bigger car, and when he is coming, He's cutting that ego. Chup, 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 chup. Otherwise, no chance. If Nitai Goranga, if Pancha Tattva, if this Brahma Tattva wouldn't have come, what would be our position? So, explanations. With tear-filled eyes and a heart suffering of separation, Sri Raghunath prayed to Vishaka's lotus feet for Sri Radharani's darshan. So the question may arise why he is praying to Vishaka's lotus feet actually. These are the final verses of Vilapa Kusumanjali. So he is praying and praying and wants to get the direct seva of Radharani's lotus feet. So first he prays to Radha Kund. Then Vishaka appears. Now that she appeared, he prays to her lotus feet. Then in this verse, Krishna appears. And now he is praying to his lotus feet. And we may see that also as a test. Would you be satisfied with me? <laughs> Never. Take me to that place where I can serve Radharani and you together. Not even the slightest idea to do something else than serve Swamini. So in this position, when Vishaka was there and he was crying, he wipes the tears from his eyes. He sees that Vishaka Chi has disappeared. Now Shyam Sundara has come and stands before 
him or her. Seeing him, Sri Raghunada sprays to his lotus feet. O oh Lord, O oh moon of Gokula, O oh you, whose lotus face is satisfied and smiling sweetly, O oh you, who melts with compassion, Take me wherever you go so that I can serve you. <coughs> Every address in this connection is inside Kinkari's beloved service. Here Ananda Das Babaji is giving a hint. Every address in connect is connected with the Kinkari's beloved service. Ha, not! You are the lover of my mistress. Therefore, you are also my lord. You find great difficulty in meeting each other, although you are very attracted to each other's forms, qualities, and love. Therefore, you will greatly need me to bring about your blissful meetings. This is the position of Kinkari. Or Manjari. They will need us. We will not need them. You know, in, in this world always there's a need. I need you because I want. I need you because I want to go. I want to grow. I want to whatever. If there is no need anymore, Seva is just because of love. But in this love there is also a need. Because the exchange between Swamini and Mohan is even more sweet if there are the Sevikas, if there are the little Mandaris and Kinkaris who are expanding the sweetness, expanding the humor, expanding the drama, make it more sweet, sour, soft, or whatever is needed. And for every taste, there is a special manjari who is serving some giving taste with flowers, some bringing some drinks, some perfume, some fresh color, whatever. So countless, countless seva is there and it's expanding the sweetness of this rasa. We are Needed. Jai Gurudev. <laughs> beautiful. 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 Go on. <laughs> Srila Rupa Goswami has described this mutual love of Radha and Krishna in ten verses. The in interesting point, it's mutual love, so it's not one side. That glorious, 
Krish uh, that glorify Krishna's name called Lilamrita in Stavamala. So here are the verses. He maddens Radhika's heart with the honey drops of his flute song. His mind is grasped by Rata's bodily fragrance. His pastimes are the hook that catch the beautiful Rata's fish-like mind. And he is very attached to the Kila Kinchit ecstasy of Gandharva, Radha, who is blinded with loving pride. He is upset when Radha, who is totally controlled by her friend Lalita, is even slightly peaked at him. He is very eager to drink the sweet nectar of Sri Rata's crooked words, the rays of his moon-like face cause the ocean of Sri Radhika's passionate love to swell. And he is like an emerald in the necklace. Hmm? So it's not just rising out of the ocean of Mahabharata, he's also influencing this ocean. He is causing that this ocean will, uh, will rise, grow, and waves are coming. He is like an emerald in the necklace of Prishabhanu's daughter. He is like a bumblebee attached to Rata's blooming lotus-like face. And the mask pictures of Radhika's breasts have been printed on his chest when he embraces her. Anyone who recites these ten names of the Prince of Gokula that are connected with his enchanting pastimes is very dear to him. So we can see that when we chant names of Krishna, which are connected with the Lilaras, which is definitely the connection to Radharani, then he is mostly attracted to us. Otherwise, if we think that we can pronounce the word of Krishna without the connection to Radha, these names will not have the same effect.
You may pronounce Krishna's names which are describing his lila rasa. And maybe others will not understand. But then Krishna will come to you. He cannot hold his self back. Someone who knows this recipe will reach his goal. There is a secret hidden in the name Gokula Sudha Kara. Go means senses. Kula means the group and Sudha Kara means the giver of nectar. Here Krishna is called the giver of nectar, pleasure, to Sri Radhika's senses. You can madden all Kula of Radhika's senses. Go. You will need me. To console this Brahma Pagalini. Again, it is said we will be needed to console our Swamini first, then meet him. Otherwise, she will run, run out of the door with her decorations on the wrong place, right? So, again, there's a hint. We will be needed. And Rati Manjari is here telling, you will need me. And I will help her to come and meet you in the Tristing Grove. How Sri Rata's five senses are attracted to Govinda is described in Govinda Lilamrita 8.0. Three. Sri Radhika told her friend Vishaka, Oh dear friend, Krishna, the prince of cowherders, inundates the mountain like mines of the woman of Braj with the ocean of his nectarian beauty. He delights their ears with his pleasant, joking words. And he pleases their bodies, the sense of touch, with his body that is cooler than millions of moons. He inundates the world with his ambrosial fragrance and with the nectar of his blazing lips. In this way, he forcibly attracts all my five senses. So we may remember Pushpa Banaya. This is one side of the meaning 
of Diksha Mantra. So actually, because the sensitive mood of a mandri may be disturbed when she hears that Krishna is enjoying with so many gopis, sometimes I was thinking what to do, how to meditate on that. So I thought Radharani is expanding so if you are together with a person, this person has different kind of aspects like humor, like loveliness, cleanliness or whatever. It's just some hint. If we think that every aspect of Radharani is not just an aspect because actually it's a person. Everything is personal. So we may have this connection that if Krishna is meeting some other gopi, he is actually meeting with Radharani one aspect, one special aspect of her because he is never out of her attraction, he cannot be, it's impossible. He is never out of meditation about Radharani. It will never be. So maybe he's just in one aspect meditating deeper. I don't know if this is understandable because my English is not so detailed. It's very, very nice, Goravani. And I appreciate uh, you bringing up this point because I have also meditated about this point again and again that how to feel about this that Krishna has so many other lovers, so-called other lovers, but if we appreciate them as Radhika's qualities who are always protect, uh, attracting him in different, different ways, then this is not a mundane feeling anymore. Then it's appreciation of Swamini again. <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, Vishwana Chakravati Thakur in his uh, meditation that's called uh, Prema Samputika, is also expressing it. This is the Leela where Shimati Radhika is speaking about her Prema to Mohan, to, to one uh, heavenly damsel that is actually Mohan. <laughs> and uh, I like this meditation so much because exactly that point is uh, described here that uh, this heavenly damsel comes to Shimati Radhika and uh, after some humorous exchanges and a lot of emotional situations, then she's asking uh, Shimati Radhika, I don't understand why you love him so much. He is the cause of all your misery. He is always going here and there. And in a way, Shimati Radhika is giving the same explanation that you were mentioning that she says, it's only me he is looking for in all the different gopis. And whenever he cannot find me, he will come back to me. Because I am the source of all of them. So, thank you for bringing up this very nice point. Beautiful. Sonati, beautiful. This is very nice. 
Yeah. They all, they have a one part, one thing, they born with that mode of body, Expand, expanded from body, one mode. So if there are thousands and millions, this all million mode in Radharan. But in Gopi, a Sakhi, one thing is there. Even the Rati Manjari, Rati is there. Roop Manjari, Roop is there. So you can imagine so many things are there. One place in Radha. So when Krishna not see Radha, he missed something, only one thing. My Radha has everything. But the wish of Radhika in that form, Krishna want to make happy. Only Radha, because they are Nitya Siddhas, 15,000 years they do tapa, they do sadhana in Ramavata, and after that they are waiting for Krishna avatar that Krishna will come, then their desire will fulfill. If there is nothing material there, it's all divine, Sruti, Vedas, Purana, Richas. They become gopi to take shelter of Radhika. Then they come to Vrindava to be with the pastime after that. After that, after becoming gopi, then he do the chidharan because again they have some bodily Consciousness, then he, she want to cheer her and Leela. Cheer her and Leela is also to remove all your covering in between soul and super soul. Because Jiva is soul and super soul. And covering is keeping distance from the Jiva to the super soul, Krishna. Soul is divine and super soul is divine. When we come to the soul consciousness, then we move for divine. Before is all religious activities we do, or fruitive activities. Nothing more than that. If the soul is not moving, for super soul, then is nothing happening. One test has to come. We have to assign with this. Then alternative goal is coming in my life. Then Radharani, Krishna approves. And okay, he can accept now. She is pure and divine. Then Radhika's mercy comes to make Radha Dasi. It takes time, my dear. And when she accepts us, then we come to the normal position. Then my ping pong is finished. We fix ourselves in a five hour. Jananda Maharaj always say we have to be in a five hour. Right? Because without a Sai Bhav, it's not Ananda. You can see. One time I see from body, once I see from senses, one time see from soul, 
इस अस्थाई भाव अब हम चलाते हैं वर्ल्ड पूरे विश्व में स्वास्थ्य एक घंटे बाद आइए सारी छह साल हुई थी तब हम आपसे बात करें या Gohavani, only one more point I want to mention. I just, when you were speaking, I just had this um, realization that, uh, yeah, from which point I, I enter or I try to enter the lila from the senses or from the mind or from my constitutional position, I will feel differently. For example, now Gauravani is explaining this so nicely. He always is in Stai Bhav. I can feel it perfectly. He explaining also Krishna's names and address of Raguna Das or Tulsi Manjari to to him in Stai Bhav from the position of Kinkari Bhav. But as soon as I come out of this position, then my mind is disturbed. <laughs> Then when I hear something, oh, Krishna is going with so many girls. Then I feel, oh, from mundane position. But as, as we are, as, we are in the mundane position. Yeah, exactly. This is uh, our mundane position, and then we start looking from there. Yes. So this is the Jananda Maharaj say. If this is the Thai bhav, we have to fix this. Then my mundane position will not come. I move for this. I start looking that way. Mm -hmm. Because Gurudev, yeah, from the position of the of the Dasi of Radhika, it's only Radhika. And nothing else. Yeah. Sorry, Gor. Uh, Gorvani said to explain that time in the position of Radhika Dasi. I don't understand what he is going to say, Baba. So I no say. I say go on because it's not clear as a Dasi. To me, anything. I said, please go on. When I can realize my Swamini is there and what's happening, so is it. This is the beauty of position of Asaiva. Yeah. Go on. So now maybe one question would arise. This process, which is called Abhideya, where we are starting from a mundane position and we want to come in the position of Sita Deha, out of this position always see our Swamini and our Seva. So how to come there? And Anandadas Babaji was describing, unfortunately, I forgot the verse number, but I heard it in the kitchen while uh, cooking. And he was nicely explaining that we have to be really patient with us. It was such sweet words. We have to be patient with us. He said, if we hear always about this Rasa Lila, again and again and again and again. This is the process actually when these unwanted desires 
will be cleansed in the heart and the real desires are growing. And the more the real desires for seva are growing, the more the unwanted are going. So it's, it's a natural process. He is telling this very clear. It's such a very natural process. No means of any, um, how do you say, wrong conception of uh, um, Entsagung. Uh, renunciation. Renunciation, yes. No need of pressing myself in this way. It's contradiction. contradiction. It's, it's not helping anyway. He is telling this, and it's such a nice, clear statement. So Abhideha means we have to be patient with us, like Swamini is patient with us. She is accepting us where we are. She is accepting the tempo in which we will go and grow. She knows us. She will not press us or something like that. We just have to be patient with us as Swamini is patient with us and go on hearing, 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 again connecting, chanting and hearing. It's always the same nectar. We mix the name of Radharani with the condensed milk of Krishna's name. But, you know, condensed sweet milk, you don't put much into something, just a little. My question one thing. <laughs> Why I will hear again and again same thing. It's better to listen philosophy because it's all fresh. I hear five times, again six times. Again, seven times, again, eight times, same subject. Why I will hear? Because it's ever fresh. Why fresh? Because I have a relation with you. What I want to listen? I want to listen about you. I love you. I cannot live without your listening. My relation is only with you. I am searching. They are talking about Krishna, but I am searching my Swami there. If you are not there, I am useless. <laughs> Subject is useless for me. Where you are there in philosophy, <laughs> there will be no name coming. What is me? <laughs> Business with me is useless. So for teaching, you have to learn this. Okay. But useless, I have to learn for helping others. My only business with you, and I want to be with you. Where I can do mistakes, that I have to learn. Which part I can easily affected with false ego. That has to improve. But I like you. When you like something, you want to listen that. You like to feel that, see that. Uh, five person will come, same thing you can listen, same time, many times, and you are not bored because you like, you love. Right or not? Yes. That is the past time. Again and again. Because my your relation, your love makes me to, to only to listen to you. I don't know what is the use other logic and philosophy to me. I will check. I do any mistake, then I will more improve. But when I will meditate with you, all logic philosophy is clear. 
your name will be removed by all logic philosophy it will be more crystal clear maybe your follower will think that he has become foolish he don't know anything philosophy and logic <laughs> because he talks the same story every day that's hope so that's hope so you are more free and more out of tension not bother for them they will do what they like you do what is the best in our life the swami said to that do the things that you not forget me and I, you always my shadow that's it Beautiful, Guru. Okay, bhai. Go on, Mani. Go on. Go move on. This is the, the beauty when we hear the name of someone who we really love. It's always... The point, yeah. This is the point. This is always... <laughs> Nitali fresh energy. Nitali, <laughs> every time in Hindi, you have no word in English. You say past time, but we say Nitali. Always new, new happening. Now also new happening. Every day is new happening. That is not the big. In philosophy, we try to understand more details, but when we feel something, to hear something that we feel, we try to feel more, more details, more sensitive, and with no, no, I say no, my dear, with more taste. Boy, please, you go in philosophy. First, you cut it. No, I, I just, I just want to give the 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 how do you say um, example. If somebody wants to understand something in philosophy, he's concentrating on the details and wants to remember that. But when you feel something, you just want to feel more, deeper, more sensitive. You are going more inside. You want to dive in and forget everything. Just feel it and, and have the connection, the inner connection. That's something completely different than knowledge. Diving means you are going under the ocean to take the jewelries from there. Diving means going very deep, deep, deep with your mask and everything that you are for six hours inside. Right? Diving is this. And then there is a jewel. When only we swim in the water, then we, this is philosophy. So can you hand me some oxygen bottle, some big one? That's oxygen, water, and mass, they all wear because there is a fish and, and big, big things. They will also attack, so we have to protect to go in, because how go deep, the protection is also important, because inside, heavy, heavy animals are there who don't like that you dive more deep to go. Blockage can come, we have to be very careful to dive in.
So then maybe you can give me some capsule to dive. That is the mercy of Radhika. She teaches how to dive in. <laughs> and this is also mercy of the swimming master who must give mercy to swim in philosophy to us. <laughs> Sometimes we go in reverse direction of flow. Sometimes go uh, right direction of flow. But it's also helping. Then test is coming for diving in. But in the swimming time, when you are against to the flow, it's too hard. You cut. Why is hard? You listen of the teacher and you cut it. No, no, no. This is not work like this. This no work like this. And after listening class out, watch one so beautiful class. You cannot expect what was the subject. It's, it was very difficult to explain. God, I forget it. <laughs> 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 what you cannot explain, then you are very happy because I don't understand anything. And it's very beautiful because it's very high. <laughs> yeah. Go on. <laughs> this was my position, honestly, I say to you. <laughs> Thank you for reflecting our position, or at least mine. When Sri Raghunadas remembers Srimati's eagerness, he says, Hey, Suprasana, Vakta, uh, Vaktra Aravinda, O oh, you whose lotus like face shines with satisfaction, Shyam and Swamini sit down on one seat. Swamini's love is so full of eagerness that she feels separation from Shyam even when she sits on his lap. And this is called Brema Vaichitya. Ah, uh, again. Swamini's love is so full of eagerness that she feels separation from Shyam even when she sits on his lap. This is called Brema Vaichitya. Yeah. They are together. But Swami is feeling separation from Krishna. I am not in the lap of Krishna. When he will come? Because he closed the eyes and thinking like this. Highest ecstasy of love you can see inside.
And she cries out, O oh Lord, O oh beloved, where are you? Beautiful stage of highest consciousness in Radha's love is Prema And who is this Monday? Because she is the shadow of blood. Shadow means original, original, when it comes to the floor, it becomes shadow, means the shadow is always near to the original and shadow will come, because it's only coming from the original. The moment we leave our Swami, then my sort of finish. I'm not outside of that. This is the special gift of Chaitanya No need to move, just feel move, the wheels are there, pull on. Seeing her condition, Shyam is astonished and filled with ecstasy. Yeah. The Supreme Lord is astonished. <laughs> I never happened like this. Never happened to love to to like this to me. What happened to her? Why he want to become Chaitanya? To feel this ecstasy of love. to take the feeling of Radha and cover inside of Radha. He wants to feel it, Krishna wants to feel it. What is impossible to him to feel it without becoming Mandiri of Radhika. If I not become shadow of Radhika, how I can feel it? What is original feelings? Even Krishna cannot understand. Oh, this is the beauty of Manjari How what gift Mahaprabhu give? Always Jananda Maharaj said this. Before I don't understand that, <laughs> the day I understand, I become nothing more, no other business now. What a gift. <laughs> 
महाप्रभु के माई डिजायर इज नॉट देयर टू बिकम सैडो नो बट कैन हेल्प मी एंड ओवर साधना वट इज रिटर्न इन द स्क्रिप्टर इज ऑल रिजल्ट इज बिकम शैडो ऑफ राधिका वाई टू प्रैक्टिस साधना रे वट यू विल गेट इट ब्रह्म ज्ञानी एंड दिस साधना इज ध्यान meditation will come one point in this will come dhyan dharan samadhi dhyan dharan sama bhruva smriti and samadhi samadhist manjri da samadhist in radhika Somebody close eyes and samadhis, and she is open eyes samadhis. Hmm. What is the better samadhi? Close of eyes or open eyes? Ha ha ha! Good. <laughs> On this I see, understand. You don't see even open eyes or other things. See that. So, samadhi is not what I understand. In this, is not uh, that we sit somewhere and enter samadhi. This is not a question by. Doing something in the with the body, this is the inner concept. We stay yeah. in. We stay in lila. We are part of the lila. Sadak dea, sita dea. If we are there, we are a member. Krishna maybe understood the feeling, but he could not feel the feeling. <laughs> This is the difference to understand something, but to feel something. Krishna only give this philosophy to understand soul. Yeah. How many philosophy is there? You read any scripture. It is only how to understand soul and to be a spiritual. And when you are there. What is the necessary philosophy? You are looking to him. You become happy. The problem is my condition, my attachment with the material senses, and my false ego. And what I create, I am attached there. Hmm. And again and again, they are catching me. Hmm. This is for philosophy. How to come in the soul consciousness? After soul coming, our Goswami's book, Rupa Raghunath, only works. Mm -hmm. No other. Then we united. This is the blessing of Sita Dea. Soul and and body is one. Yeah, no different. This is done. This is the biggest gift. And soul is one, not one. And with body, my body, spiritual body, that time Krishna will help us. Mm. Because I not got the soul, body, his spiritual body. His need. Need to balance high bow to fix mm. my nature. Again, so, I will jump back immediately backside. Hmm. 
coming from Satoguna to Tamoguna is not a big job. No. <laughs> Rajoguna is not a big job. Mm. But coming from Suddha Satoguna, then I will come down to uh, Suddha Satoguna, I will come down to Satoguna. But in Guna, we can jump every hourly and half, half hourly or five minutes in all Gunas. We round it. Merry go round. <laughs> of this Guna. But if we really identify it with our Manjari bath, my God, is that who can, who can break this? Manjari bhav practice, they also become angry. <laughs> but their angerness is not for themselves. They're That's angry. It. Why I come out from my mood. I'm crying. Angry, na? Raghunath Das is angry because he's crying. Angry mm -hmm. with bodily condition that he has to come back from the seva. Mm -hmm. He's not angry, only he's crying for this, repenting for this. Mm -hmm. He's not in a, uh, he's not painful. He don't like this. He wants to be always there. Mm. This is teaching Raghunanda Goswami for us. Yeah. In the beginning, it will happen to you because it's happened to me. But don't bother. This will increase your love more. Mm -hmm. I feel so fortunate. All the, you are going deep in realizations of Mahaprabhu gift, but we got it. Mm. Are your mercy, Gurudev, and your love? Was guiding us so beautifully. Is all of you doing, not I only. I'm so okay. thankful, Gurudev, for every moment and every second we can share this and we can speak together in, in a very close moment. Rasik Sangha. Ah. This made Radha Dasi. Well, uh, you two is made by Suniti. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, it's Gopinath, and I miss him, Gurudev. I don't know where he is. No, he is very busy. Hmm. He is building and remodeling and everything. He said he will be in the program, but he starts lying to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I will report all to Gopika. <laughs> <laughs> you don't leave him. One day, in one month, he changed his mood. Hmm. He say something, do something. Brother, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your loving exchange, Gurudev. Yeah. But Gauravaniji, I want that maybe you, you will start this one paragraph, that next paragraph is full of nectar. Can we so yeah. do it? <laughs> Actually I, I, I wanted to, to close and remember again on the beginning. Okay. 
because actually it's it's uh, ananda das babaji is describing it so wonderful why actually um rati mantri is saying here that he has this sweet and satisfied face it will be here in the next paragraph and also here where we just uh, um, uh, where oh lord oh, beloved where are you radharani was crying out and shyam was astonished to see that and the next sentence is because nobody knows what utkantavati the eager radhika may say or do next it's necessary to keep a maid servant around yeah oh. so yeah. therefore actually therefore tulasi says take me to your kingdom of spiritual pastimes so she is saying she is not saying please krishna take me with you because of any other point but because she's needed in this rasa she has to do seva it's a very interesting point so it's what? What? describing oh, one aspect what i cannot find out you find it out <laughs> I, actually it's I, i'm just stealing hey, no, 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 read, 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 read. you inspire me and i'm just a, 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 actually a thief okay <laughs> i was inspired by <laughs> by a different um, great souls to back borrow or steal so there's a very confidential explanation of the name Madhura Smita, sweetly smiling one. So why Krishna is smiling? And Krip Artra, you who melts with compassion. This is actually how Raghunadas is uh, uh, addressing Krishna in the first in the verse so that's why it's here explained Radha and Krishna are playing in the kunja and Swamini has sized Sham Sundara's play now she's telling him you don't know how to play <laughs> she takes him by the hand to teach him all erotic arts when Shyam sees Swamini's endeavors he smiled softly and sweetly Madhura Smita what a wonderful explanation why the smile is on Krishna's face so Tulasi Mandri is, of course, remembering this. What else she could remember? She is not in Aishwarya, so she is always deep inside. And that's why she is addressing Krishna like that. After their love sports, Swamini is exhausted and lies down on Shyama's chest. Shyama then melts with compassion, Kripartra, and begins to serve her and remove her fatigue by fanning her and massaging her. This is why Tulasi prays Take me to the kingdom of your pastimes so that I can serve your beloved there with love. Whose beloved shall we serve? Swamini's beloved, you, or your beloved, Swamini. 
Whatever service you cannot do for Swamini, I will do. And whatever service Swamini cannot do for you, I will do. Saying this, Sri Raghunath's heart becomes overwhelmed by transcendental anxiety. Wow, Gurudev, can you explain this? <laughs> this one sentence. Whatever service you cannot do for Swamini, I will do. And whatever service Swamini cannot do for you, I will do. See that? <laughs> that is the meditation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is karma gatri. Mm -hmm. And karma gatri, half this level is very important. Twelve, twelve and half. 24. Karma Gayatri, half sliver can make anyone imbalanced. If half is one side, that is more higher. Wow, good is that's a new one to meditate. <laughs> good day. This makes us some wave. Yeah. Like this really? is, if they are not, then they are not. But they what they do, we don't understand. This half is making the game. <laughs> And this is the gift by Mahaprabhu. Hmm. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> the queen went the house. They measure where the half is good, it says. Mm -hmm. They win. Can I can yeah. I ask uh, Karvani? Thank you so so much for this wonderful reading, and I'm really glad you ended or you came around to this. He is very naughty. He translates because he don't want to talk. One day I was so heavy to him privately. I don't happy with you. You trans you translate on. This. Anyone can translate. This is not my business. I want you to share sometime. Not hide with me, man. I know who has what. And who has, who not sharing, it will be burn out inside. You not sharing. You are repeating your homework doing by sharing that you get it. What you say? Go in the ocean, dive in the ocean. That diving is this. Sharing is diving. Thank you that you were so heavy to me. No, heavy not. My <laughs> diving inside. Actually, you were very lovingly saying that, not heavy. <laughs> that is lovingly, then I said, dive with us, put me in diving more, more fresh and fresh. But it's not complete today. You have to complete it, Baba. But actually, it's, it's, 
It, it's complete. It, it's just now uh, again the verse would come actually. Okay. So it's actually Next complete. Time. Yeah. Next it's time. perfect. Because time is over. Right? Japan is 10 30. Jayananda Maharaj looks fresh in 10 30 also. <laughs> It is amazing. Yeah? Amazing. <laughs> Krishna, is, Krishna is doing Manjari Seva, good day, no? So Krishna is doing Swami Seva. And wow. uh, so, and Torashi, Torashi was thinking, oh, so, oh, 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 this is the fun to say. Madura Sumita. You are doing my seva also. You also be tired. I can do for you also. So, wow. therefore, please, please take me into your kunja. I wow. can do for you also your swami. Yeah. There is one question from Karuna Zaga. There is some time for that? Yes. Karuna Zaga, please ask your question. Adlerade, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I am very fallen and sorry to interrupt you because you are higher than me and uh, thank you for this opportunity. So my question for Gurudev is this. When I chant on Dikshamala, like uh, Gopal Mantra or Kama Gayatri, can I chant more than one round? Because I remember that once you told uh, that uh, if you have greed, you will chant more than one time on, on the mala. Beautiful, you chant one round, it's beautiful. But you, you say me, if you chant more round, what will happen? That uh, maybe that I, I will uh, realize my Svarup uh, uh, more soon. Yes, most beautiful. Beautiful and most beautiful, but it's good. Right? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rade, Rade. Yeah, Rade. Jai Shirade, and thank you again, Jayananda, for your tour. Thank you for your. For your. Actually, we request. No, no give to, thank to Jayananda. Give to my Gora Sundara. Yes, yes, also Gora Sundara. Thank you very much. See, they are, they are the main hero. Yes. In presence is happening, so he come is okay, but this thanks goes to God. <laughs> yes. Actually, yes, actually, we are team player, Gurudev. You yes. are trainer, and we are the team. And now we had a big match, and it was so beautiful, and we feel like a winning team now. Yes, right, Ananda. Yes, so we request to him, don't hide. Please share. We request to him, Gurudev, honestly speaking. Yeah. Yes. And why so, I, I do this, I say you? Because only I am telling. Listen to others what he tells you. Why I inspired you and Suniti? You also realize and tell this thing. Suniti when when there was no one in Russia. Now how many are joining? They start talking in this. Who is it's doing? so amazing. It's so amazing. And I, I really feel I want to open something with it. I have a feeling that Gauravani should go to Russia soon. I feel he will be so good there, and 
Really, I feel it. It's not coming from outside. It's from my heart that Gauravani and Russia, there's something. It's a team. Everything is a teamwork. Yes. These are all team workers. Yes. One, one share to other, help to others, and not a, a personal interest is there. No, we only want to see each other rise in love. <laughs> Why to hide for this? <coughs> With manjaris, other place you hide. <laughs> so I want to show you what is the beauty of a Thai bow. Because I feel Jananda fixed is a Thai bow. Yeah. And how he become beautiful. So only I request all of you, why not to do that, like that and that is do. Why not to do, to fix my Asai vow? What is the problem in this? We need each other's help, Gurudev. Your love we already have and your blessings. We just need each other's help and we will grow. Yeah. There was so many beautiful was heißt, Austausch. Exchange. Exchanges on the tour. Not only the official program, but when we sit together and we take prasadam together, there was so nice exchanges and so deep, no, Jainanda? Yes. Ravani, there was many topics, we, we was discussion, make more fine-tuning, feelings change, exchanging. This was very, very inspiring, Gurudev. Because Rasik, wife changes life. Hmm. And our sick wives change our life. Wow. True. Not really? his classes. His vibration will change my vibration. This is yeah. us. Mm. And thank you, Gurudev. I can see that your love is really vibrating in all of your students and even people who are not your students who just came for a little help they are changing so much because of your love i am always again and again completely surprised how people can change so fast mm -hmm. and so deep into love so my dear is still i'm a student Hmm. How can we a teacher? Yeah. <laughs> I am I am a student. You know, in Sardar, Gopinath's father is there. They say Sikh. Sikh means always to learn. Ah. Always to learn means Sikh. Hmm. You have to learn every moment of your life. You are a student of your Gurudev. Sikh, you have to learn it. And Gurudev explained on the, all of you, and he is teaching us Sikh. Learn. Learn, learn more. More to learn in life. So if even Krishna is always a student of the love of Radha, what to speak about us? We are, <laughs> we are all want to learn because of my Guru Dev. Mm. That is a time how where you become manjari.
before was uh, what do you say in faith doubtful mm. now it become nishtha firm faith Jai. not that <laughs> that is Jai. the goal i there is no doubt no doubt because no i doubt. got yeah because was faith but he has nishtha firm faith is there mm. because this who is teaching us he not only say he make me to realize it mm. by his teaching say thank you my sudevi thank you everything what you going deep i can feel it if any mistake i do you can give me to improve advice thank you <laughs>